The Navitech boat that was supposed to be removed from the water is now sitting precariously on land at the Alawai Small Boat Harbor. But about 25 feet of it is still hanging over the water. It was scheduled to be taken out on Wednesday after it started sinking. The owner wasn't there today, but others were. And Jen Boniza was there. Jen? Kathy residents say it's an eyesore, and there are serious questions about the safety of the current position of the boat and how its removal is being handled. The Navitech has been sitting at the Alawai Boat Harbor for months. It's becoming an attraction, a bad attraction. They should have never let that one come in. They got towed here, didn't run, and you know, then they, they get behind on the payments, and then it's not worth anything to them to fix it up. After it amassed $16,000 in mooring fees and the vessel was deemed unseaworthy by the state boating division, it started to sink. A bid for $28,000 was put in to move the boat to the Ke'ehi Small Boat Harbor. That attempt failed. Then the decision was made to pull the vessel out at the old haul-out area, adding $7,000 to the initial bid. I spoke to Pacific Crane Services who were hired by the contractor to help remove the vessel from the water. They tell me that the weight they were given by the contractor was off by more than 40,000 pounds. We did help empty the boat, get the water out. We did attempt to do a pick on it, but when we realized the weight was incorrect and the rigging was needed to be changed for the better, we, we called it off. Baptist tells me he told the contractor two cranes were needed to safely remove the boat from the water. But that's not what happened. When I got here this morning, uh, as you can see, they dragged it out without the use of the crane. They just we weren't involved in that in any way, shape, or form. Baptist says it's probably going to cost a lot more to get rid of it, and he's not alone. This thing is not salvageable at any. It just doesn't make sense financially. The bottom line, the figures just don't work for this, and they should have known that. For now, the future of the Navitech hangs in the balance. The DLNR Division of Boating and Ocean Recreation says that when boaters fail to keep their obligations, boat owners across the state pay for it. That money comes from various boating fees. And I'm told dealing with problems like this take time as the state is required to follow the law. Kathy?